All right, so I know that if you live here in the United States, you have probably been experiencing the effects of this downturn in the stock market. Uh, I've seen it in our investment. Yeah, absolutely. I know you've seen it in yours. And we think, and maybe we're a little bit biased because we are real estate agents, but we actually think real estate investing can actually give you better returns than even the stock market. And we're gonna talk about three different ways you can invest in real estate right now. Okay, so the first type of real estate investing is gonna be buy and hold. It's a rental property. I'm buying this property right. so I can rent it to a tenant and collect cash flow so I can have tax benefits. Nick, what, what is maybe one of the biggest challenges for someone that is looking to buy a buy and hold or a rental property in today's market? First of all, the prices are a little bit higher, right? We've seen appreciation, so it's a little bit more difficult to find a deal. And so a lot of times when you're when you're an investor, you're typically looking at what am I going to make? What's my profit gonna yep. be? When we start looking at what is our what is my monthly expense on the mortgage and taxes and, and HOA, and we start factoring all that in, and then we run the numbers on what it would rent for if we don't see that we're making more than you know fifty dollars a month is that really a good investment for us yeah and Probably i've not. seen it you know if your mortgage payment is 1800 and you're only getting 1850 there's really no cash flow it's not a good deal right but if your mortgage payment is 1800 and you're getting 2400 that's a pretty good deal right? and i think the way that you know that is having a real estate agent who's on your side who's not only helping you find that property but can run those numbers for you so you know whether you're making a bad investment before you get yourself locked into it only to realize you're not going to make any money out of it. In real estate, I mean, there's just, there's very few investments that you get to buy it, live in it, and also still be able to turn around and sell it and make money on it. So the second option that we have is flipping. If you're familiar with the way that the market is right now, it kind of feels like it's maybe not the best market to do that in. Very and, difficult. And that's true. It is very difficult right now, but it is possible. The way that we look at flips, obviously, is we want to buy it at, a, at the lowest price that we can. We want to invest the least amount of money that we can to generate the most profit. Right now, because of the premium that people are having to pay in order to buy a property, there's just not as many of those opportunities available. And every other investor is looking at the same properties as soon as they hit the market. So as an investor looking for flips, we're really looking mostly for off-market deals. These are gonna be properties other people aren't aware of that you can buy them at a lower price and then that gives you the opportunity to increase those margins a little bit. But even beyond that, even if let's say we do find that great deal and we are able to get in a property at a low price, how we do the flip becomes really important. What you don't wanna do as an investor is put in so much money that you're way overpriced for the neighborhood and nobody's gonna buy it because they think it would be a bad idea because <laughs> it's significantly more expensive than anything else. And now you're sitting on a loss instead of sitting on profit. You know, the last one we wanna talk about is Airbnb or short-term rentals. When COVID happened, hotels shut down. Airbnb was shut down for about six weeks, but at the end of that, they were open, hotels were not. The key thing about Airbnb or short-term rentals is that it is not near as passive as rental properties. In Airbnb, it is an actual business. It is, an, it is a separate entity and you are constantly answering your phone with guests uh, and setting all that up. The positive, the massive positive, is that your profit margins are so much different. You're talking about having a you know $4,000 a month mortgage and having about $8,500 to $9,000 a month uh, in rental income. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'll take that deal all day long. <laughs> all day long. So uh, Kelly and I, you know, recently we just purchased a Airbnb of our own on Galveston Beach. We bought this property at the very end of December. We have taken <laughs> until right now uh, with our contractors getting it ready. We redid the, the completely redid the master bathroom. We completely redid the kitchen and uh, the secondary bathroom, as well as a few different parts of the living area. So not really that much. So uh, nice. by the time this is going out, we should have our links down in the uh, wherever this is, the description below. And if you are looking for a uh, spring break, a place to spend spring break with some friends, family, uh, let us know. Our link is in the description. And here's the deal. When you're looking at Airbnb, be just like anything else but I would say even more so in investing in a property like that the location becomes really important people don't just randomly get Airbnbs in random parts of town the reason that they're doing an Airbnb is because they're coming from out of town and they want to be close to something proximity maybe it's uh, sports venues maybe it's entertainment venues so when we're thinking about Airbnbs uh, it's not just about what can I get really, really cheap and fix up. If that thing is an hour away from anything, it's not gonna be a great Airbnb. You're not gonna make any money unless you make it an experience. You have something there that right. people wanna get away to go and do. I think we're getting into our part two of this video, uh, which we will probably do uh, within a month, a month
month and a half once we have bookings and we're able to actually tell you how it how it went. We will uh, give you <laughs> all the details so you'll know exactly how that investment went and how it's going and what they've been able to profit off of it. So those are our top three ways that you can invest in real estate in 2022 and how it can be a much better investment for you than even the stock market. If you have questions about how to do this type of investing, you're gonna need a real estate professional on your side who can help you locate the good deals, who can help you with finding off-market properties, help you with the negotiation, and also helping you understand how to flip it, how to renovate it, so you can make the most profit and not make a big mistake like a lot of investors do. So reach out to us at The Bridge Group for all of your real estate needs, and we would love to see you guys in our next video.